Hey, welcome to my channel where I teach the Bible, and this is a message for Tuesday, the 17th of uh, January, 2023. And I, I'm going to take a look at Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. And this is the message to the angel of the church in Ephesus from Jesus, from the mouth of Jesus. It's important teaching. It does not get the play that it should these days. Now, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notified every time I put something out. Make comments, give me thumbs up, help me get this out to as many people as I can. One of the things that I'm acutely aware of is the fact that churches today in, in American culture have 40 to 90 year lifespans. And then they they tend to die. Uh, they and it may be slow. It may they may fade slowly, but what happens is they lose their passion for reaching people. One of the things that uh, that we're acutely aware of in church work is that new churches evangelize much better than than older churches. And so, to keep a church fresh and moving forward, you have to change all the time and develop new things, new programs, new sometimes new services, new churches plant. One of the big things going on right now is you have churches with multiple campuses that have multiple services on multiple campuses. And there's always a new service or new campus being started. And they tend to hold on to the first love of the Lord. And I'm gonna read through Ephesians, uh, not Ephesians, this is the letter to the Ephesians, but it's Revelation 2 verses one through seven. And this is talking to the church. In Ephesus. He says this to the angel of the church in Ephesus, write, These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven golden lampstands. The seven golden lampstands stand for the seven churches. Each church is the image of each church is a lampstand. I know your deeds, your hard work, and your perseverance. I know that you cannot tolerate wicked men that you have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not and have found them false. Uh, you have persevered and have endured hardship for my name and have not grown weary. In other words, they ferreted out false teachers and, uh, and did not pay attention to them. But I hold this against you. You have forsaken your first love. In other words, they backed off a little bit on the Lordship of Jesus and faded you know, there's a passion that you have when you first come to Christ and you want to tell everybody about Jesus and you want to be passionate about him. And he says this, remember the height from which you've fallen, repent and do the things you did at first. If you do not, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place. Now, <clears throat> the lampstand stands for the church. And I think there's times when the Lord removes lampstands because the church ceases to function. It gets into bad habits and it doesn't have the passion that it had for reaching the lost at any cost. And they don't have the passion they have for getting that done. I see that happen to churches all the time, okay? But then other churches, if they refresh themselves and plant new churches, and plant new campuses and plant new services, the churches grow. And I've been through that. When you start new stuff, it, it flourishes. If you don't, they tend to fade. So you need to renew and, and have new stuff going on all the time. What you need to do is repent and do the things you did at first so that you're having an impact and reaching people and you're sold out to the person of Christ. That doesn't happen. And so what happens? Jesus comes along and removes the lampstand because it's not doing what he put it there to do. He has a function for the church. The purpose of the church is to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever Jesus commanded them. That's the purpose of the church. And when churches get away from that, and they do, they fade fast. Uh, I have served two, two, two of the churches that I served in 30 years of ministry are no more. The Lord removed the lampstand because they got away from their first love, which is Jesus as Lord and passion for him. And he says this in verse six, but I have this in your favor. You hate the practices of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. 
The Nicolaitans were people that led them off into sexual immorality. They hated the practice of the Nicolaitans, which the Lord hates. We all need to hate that. In other words, the Nicolaitans would go into churches and lead them into immorality. I've seen that kind of thing happen in churches too, by the way. It sounds impossible, doesn't it? But it's not. They can get rid, you know, the teaching can get way off and, and really twisted. Verse 7, he who has, he has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. <clears throat> it's real easy for churches to get away from their first love. The first love is always Jesus as Lord. I remember when I first came to the Lord, I want, I had told everybody I knew about the Lord. I bought everybody in my family a Bible a new Bible in a modern language Bible so they could understand the scriptures. I was passionate about that. What you want to do is make sure that you never lose that passion. Make sure that the Lord, and churches need to do that. Make sure that the Lord does not remove their lampstand. It may take years and years for them to fade, but they will. Be, the church needs to be sold out to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and passionate about reaching the world for Christ. Hang on to that. Take that home to your church and don't let go.